Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a ball bearing using Fusion 360. I found this stainless steel ball bearing on McMaster Car's website, which also allows me to download a CAD model in many different formats. Once you download and open the file in Fusion 360, it will look exactly like this, just with different colors. Changing colors and rendering photorealistic pictures in Fusion 360 is a lot of fun and I will be covering them in future videos. To begin modeling the ball bearing, we first need to find out its dimensions. So we're gonna go to File, Create New Drawing, From Design, and hit OK. The first thing I'm gonna do is change the scale from 2 to 1 to 6 to 1 to make it bigger and easier to work with. I'm going to place this view and then I'm going to project another view to the right of the first one. And now we'll go ahead and add some dimensions. We'll click on dimension button or press D on a keyboard add the diameter of the ball, the distance from the center of the ball to the center of the ball bearing, and then we'll add dimensions for the inner race and outer race. Then we can drag the dimensions so it's easier to read the drawing. Now we can add dimensions to the projected view. We will go ahead and add dimensions for width and chamfer feature. Now we have all of the necessary dimensions and let's go ahead and create a 3D model by clicking on new design tab. First thing we're gonna do is click sketch and select the top plane. Then we're gonna go ahead and create horizontal center line and vertical construction line. Then I'm going to create two rectangles using rectangle feature and I'm going to deselect construction line option. Then I'm going to use horizontal and vertical alignment feature to align the corners of two rectangles. Now we'll click on symmetry feature and make sure that the sides of both rectangles are symmetric with respect to the construction line by pressing control and selecting two sides of the rectangle and clicking on the construction line. Same goes for the second rectangle. Once the constraints are in place, we can go ahead and add dimensions. Then we'll go ahead and create a circle and make sure its center is vertical with respect to the origin. The diameter of the circle is going to be the same as the diameter of the ball.
now we will go to solid tools and select the following profiles and use the revolve feature to create the inner and outer races then we need to create one of the balls so we'll start a sketch on this plane slice the view and go ahead and create a circle we will make sure that the circle is vertical with respect to the origin and then we'll go ahead and apply dimensions as follows then we'll add a vertical line that passes through the center of the circle that we'll use as axis for revolve feature we're going to go to solid tab select the profile and then select revolve feature and select axis once we have one of the balls created we can use circular pattern feature to create the rest of them. We'll go to create, select pattern and circular pattern. Now we'll go ahead and select our object, axis and make sure that quantity is 10 and hit OK. At this point our ball bearing is almost done and we'll go ahead and add the chamfer feature to the inner and outer races. We'll click modify, select chamfer, select four edges that need to be chamfered, add the dimension and hit OK. As you can see our ball bearing is done and it looks the same as the one that we downloaded from McMaster car. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this and you learn something new, consider subscribing.